Every year since we started this adventure, our summers back home have been extremely busy. This year is no different. We had hoped to maybe have a relaxing summer and do some traveling in Ontario. But alas, that did not happen because there was backyard work to get done to get ready to host a wedding reception, family gatherings, a stag and doe, our granddaughter's high school graduation, Canada Day in Port Dover, a bachelorette party, Wednesday night sail races, a cruiser's get-together, and work, work, and more work to build up our bank account again to supplement the very large engine repair we had to pay for in the Bahamas. Well, maybe next summer we'll try again and have a relaxing, not so busy summer. We are off to 70 below today and I'm trying to film and pick up dog food at the same time. So as you can see, here's another thing of dog food and we are taking this batch over to 70 below, which is over here. We did a review on the company while we were in the Bahamas. We were so happy with the product that we are taking another batch in to get dehydrated. Oh, no, sorry, I gotta turn the camera off to get into the store. I finished the race and now it's beat the weather getting back in. Still some boats way out there, but they're making best speed, but it's a nasty little cell. But we're almost home. Just coming in on the channel now. I don't think he's happy. No. Where's your ball? Did you want to go? Where's your ball? No, I'm going to dig in the sand. So here we are in Woodstock and um, I've just started to uh, build or create our hard top. Um, I think somewhere along the line we have the template when we had the template on the boat. Now I got the template here. It's suffered a little water damage, but it's still okay. So I built uh, one side and we're using Nidacore. This is the starboard side. And this is the port side that's kind of all together. Just getting all the pieces right so that uh, when it comes time to fiberglass, um, we'll be able to go at it. The uh, top is right back here at the back. So when I get that out, I'll show you what we've done. So we just took the design that we've made um, while it was on the boat and now it's just building it should be fun I'll try to remember to keep the, uh, the camera rolling so that we can show you the process all right back in Clinton Sherman wants to play uh, this is the material that Mike and I went and bought for our new couch material for the boat because the last material didn't stand up. It was some umbrella and I'm surprised. Um, it just didn't wear like we thought it should have wore and it was an indoor outdoor fabric. Anyway, this time we got upholstery material. It's kind of neat, it's very plain. Um, it's not supposed to have a pattern in it but it does look like it has a pattern. So, what we're doing right now is cutting off the material. So we've cut the material and we've put it in piles and Karen is doing the zipper. So 
hang on a second and I'll show you. So now we're making the zippers first to put into the pillows. She has a nice fangled, dangled, fancier machine than I have. I just have a basic one. Uh, but we'll put the zippers in and we'll start making the daybed cushions to get them done. So when Mike gets back here tonight, um, tomorrow we can cut the foam and take the big pillows home. Last project, right Sherman? Last one, day five. Last project to do before I head back home myself is the new butterfly hatch cover. So as you can see, we got it all cut out, partly sewn. And yeah, now we're just gonna put it together. This is the jigsaw puzzle. So this will be the interesting one to do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting married in the morning. 